What's up, What's up guys? guys and welcome to another video. This video is going to be kind of going over all the camera gear and kind of bags we use. Um, we haven't done this type of video for probably three years. I think the last one was back in 2017. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long time ago and we had so much stuff. Yeah, we had a ton of stuff, a lot's changed. We have a lot less stuff that we bring with us on uh, our travels, I guess. So. Yeah, now that we've kind of traveled a lot more since then, we've really learned to just minimize what we bring because especially when we're flying somewhere, just to have the least amount of things as possible feels so much better yeah, for us. Yeah, and whenever we're boarding a plane, we really like to try to go just carry-on. Yeah. So most of our bags are carry-on size, and I guess I'll just dive right into my camera backpack. Yeah. Um, this is the douchebag hugger. It's not really a camera backpack, but it does have a laptop sleeve, which is kind of nice. So I got my MacBook back there. That's super nice when you have just the laptop pocket. And then uh, this main whole pocket is pretty much just wide open. So it's one big compartment. And they, which makes it really easy with your airport security. Yeah, and they also have this camera cube. So that's kind of how I turn it into my own camera bag. I don't know if you can see that very good, but it leaves me all this space, you know, pack clothes and extra stuff in there. Yeah, typically when we go on a trip, Bryce will literally like pack all his camera stuff and his clothes in this bag. Yeah, and, and what's really nice, nice about the camera cube too is it transfers kind of into other bags. So this is more of like a road trip or short trip type bag mm -hmm. and the camera cube fits. Also fits in there. In there. <laughs> a little work. It's hard with all the stuff in it, but... Well, because these don't have, like, the structure. So yeah, so that fits in there, too, and kind of gives me half of the bag to utilize still. Mm -hmm. And I guess going into the camera gear, now that we've talked about the bags I like to use. Get those all out of the way. This is the Walker family bag, by the way. <laughs> Shout out, Walker family. We love Walker family We bags. love them, as you can this see. This is mine. <laughs> but, yeah, going into the camera gear, this is pretty much all the essentials that I bring. So... Starting with the camera, we have the Canon 1DX. This has been our baby for the past two and a half, yeah. three years. If you've been an OG subscriber, you'll remember the video where I surprised Bryce with that camera. Yeah, but we love this camera. Yeah, and it's been our go-to. The main lens we use on it is this 16 to 35. It's an F4, so it's image stabilized. We also Super have nice. the... Especially the video. Yeah, for sure. We also have the 2.8, but it's not image stabilized, so we find that we use this one a lot more often just for vlogging, photos, whatever. And then the other lens we like to bring is the 35 1.4 Sigma lens. Mm -hmm. Just if we want to get a little more artsy or... Yeah, it has a little more of, depth of field or yeah. a little light. That's always super nice. Get some nice blurry backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And then always extra memory card for the camera. Yeah, but those are the two lenses that we've narrowed it down to. We just try to keep that super minimal yeah, when we're traveling. Once in a while we'll bring, you know, like a long lens or something else, but mm -hmm. most of the time we just keep it super simple, this lightweight. This is the one we use so I much. I mean, as lightweight as we can keep it with this beast. <laughs> that camera weighs so much, and Bryce will literally vlog on this, as you guys have probably seen in some of our vlogs, but he'll have that lens on here and the Gorilla Pod, and literally just like vlogging with that makes your arm so tired. Yeah, and then I just have the battery charger for that. We have an extra battery. I obviously don't have it in here right now. Mm -hmm. I have this little case that I like to bring. It has some cables and card readers, and then also a little hard drive. Which we have switched to using these SSD hard drives, and it does cost a little extra money, but highly recommend just investing in that because we've had couple instances where our hard drives have crashed yeah, so, and we have lost so much like valuable footage so we from switched to the ssds because they're a little more reliable <laughs> yeah. you can drop them and they're not gonna like harm and then this is a camera that i don't always bring but i wanted to show it because there's been some comments of people wondering what like our old footage in our videos is but we're shooting yeah. that all on this camera it's a super 8 um what's it even called canon auto zoom 518 super 8 and it ha I have like this little adapter to kind of make the lens a little bit wider. So we like bringing this on kind of trips and we'll shoot through yeah. a roll of Super 8. So one roll of film is up to three minutes of footage? Yeah, it's about three minutes and it's probably like $120 per roll. <laughs> it's, so it's, it's expensive. <laughs> it's kind of a treat when we bring this along and shoot that. And yeah, 
but we like doing that. We get all of our film from Pro 8 Millimeter, and yeah. I will have to say it makes it so satisfying though when you like pull the trigger and you shoot like 10 seconds or less or something and you hear it and you just you don't know what it's gonna look like. You can probably then... make the sound right now. Oh yeah, there's no film. That's <laughs> nice. I love it. But yeah, then when you get it back, it's just like Christmas day. We love <laughs> just you, sitting down. And can like, you see Lou over oh. here in the bed? Did he just go in there himself? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll just pull out my laptop to show that again. This is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. 15 inch, right? Yeah. I think so. I think so. But yeah. I just got that last year. I do all, nice of, <laughs> all the video editing we do for our videos on this. I use Premiere Pro to edit that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, got AirPods in here just in case we edit on the go or whatever. But yep. yeah, that's all the stuff that we kind of bring with. Mm -hmm. For me, anyways, for my bag, and that takes up half of my luggage most of the time. Yeah. So props to Bryce for kind of <laughs> hauling the heavier end when we do travel with camera gear. Um, I guess on my end of things, since he travels with like the bigger camera, oh, I guess we didn't mention our vlog camera too. Oh yeah. Well, Typically, right. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right now we're filming on that, so. Yeah, our vlog camera is the Canon M5, which we are filming on right now. Um, that's like a small, nice little size. You could probably even film it in the mirror. If you yeah, I could it. probably just do a quick little. <laughs> we have a mirror, so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is what the M5 looks like. So he has it on our Gorillapod, and there is the attached Rode microphone. Yeah, so we usually have this too with, just in case we want to do a self-timer photo or something. And then this is usually on the 1DX or this little camera. Give a little wave. Classic mirror shot. <laughs> Let me get this turned back around. But yeah, and I guess I'll just dive into my backpack that I typically carry on with me when we go on road trips or when we're flying somewhere. Um, this is my carry-on backpack that I typically always use. It's the, we just, we just Googled how to pronounce it. So y'all... Robin. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but I've always said Faval Raven, yeah. but he Googled it just to make I sure was like, I was right. like, I feel like that's something that's easily mispronounced, <laughs> and we mispronounce a lot of things in this vlog usually. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to look that up. We're going to be accurate. So but we'll, we'll be honest with Phil, you guys. I don't think a majority of people know yeah. how to say this anyways, but you guys know this backpack brown. It is pretty popular. Um, yeah, I love bringing this with me as well, just because it is one that opens fully. So like when I fly somewhere, I can have like all my toiletry stuff, water bottle, all that. And in security, it's so nice to have a bag that fully oh, opens because yeah, sure. you can just like throw all your stuff out. But yeah, basically he has the big digital cameras. So I love to travel with my film camera, as you guys have seen in a lot of our videos and Instagram pictures and stuff. And this is the one I've been using the most lately. It's the Canon FTB. QL. I don't know. That's just all the numbers and letters that's on it. Um, it does have a 15 millimeter 1.4 lens on it. So the film photos I've been getting off of this lately have been so cool. I super, typically super bring, I was saying typically a lot in this video, typically. but I bring a roll of film with me everywhere we go. Like, so when we travel to a new place or just traveling somewhere again, I always like to shoot a full roll of film. And the film that I've been using a lot is the Kodak Gold 200. And I've really loved using expired film. So I've been like searching eBay like crazy and I always buy this film expired. So it is kind of risky because you don't really know if it's gonna turn out. And especially if you're like shooting photos in a new place that you traveled. I have had some rolls come back that didn't turn out the greatest, but you can still see the photos, I guess. Or we had rolls that just like malfunctioned and oh, didn't yeah. go. <laughs> When we Sorry went to, to bring that up. <laughs> when we just went to Kauai for the first time for my birthday, I just used one roll of film. And when I had put the film in this whole cartridge thing, I don't know, I didn't insert it fully right. So every picture I was taking, it wasn't actually like cranking, cranking the film. <laughs> so the film had just like sat with like no photos on it the whole time. So I don't know. That was a bummer. You live and you learn. I watched many YouTube videos after that to properly insert my film. But yeah, the Kodak Gold 200 has been my favorite. Um, and let's see, that's the film camera, Helio. 
And then we do have the Canon G7X Mark III. So I'm definitely an impulse buyer <laughs> when it comes to cameras. I did get this last year just when it got released because I was just really excited about it. When we are vlogging, I just love when we have it like small and simple. So the reason I impulse bought it was like, oh, it'll be perfect little vlogging camera. I know people use this all the time. But we kind of <laughs> tested it out. It doesn't have 24 frames per second. The lowest it can go is 30 frames per second. So we didn't actually end up using this for vlogging. We just stick to our M5. But before returning it, I still wanted to give it a shot. And when I went to Banff with Pier Vida, um, Bryce wasn't on that trip. So this actually came in really handy for photos. Like, the photo quality is super it's good. It's actually really great like, for how small it is. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's really, really good. And um, I do like that it has the Wi-Fi feature. So on the side, I can just press this button. And all the photos just sync right to my phone. And they're, like, full quality Canon photos. So on the go, this was actually really useful. And it takes really cool flash photos. Like when we just went to Banff together for the Fairmont trip, um, it was fun using the, this at night for flash photos. Oh yeah, like by the fire when we were roasting apples, we shot those photos on this. Yeah, and, and yeah. we were surprised. Like they looked so cool because we typically don't take flash photos. Right. So yeah, I've been keeping this around. It is just so easy to keep in the backpack. And I do like the little flip up screen. So when you're taking pictures with people, you know, you can still see your framing and everything. So I mean, it is a little bit pricier of a camera, and if you're okay with 30 frames per second and you're vlogging, like, go for it. They actually came out with a firmware update on this to make the autofocus better, which did improve, so. Um, that's my little deal on that camera. <laughs> and then, my only other techie thing that I bring along is my iPad Pro. Um, do you know how many inches this is? This is probably the 13. Large. We can or, I don't know. It's, like, the biggest size. Hold it up by this. It's, like... I don't know. It's, 12 inch? I, this was my new investment because I both of our MacBooks last year that we have used since 2013, they were both outdated. So Bryce's upgrade was to get the new MacBook. And I decided to do the iPad over getting a new laptop because when we're traveling, I would rather have just a lighter iPad in my backpack versus a full-size laptop. And recently, all of the presets that we use to edit our photos, I was able to, like, I custom made the presets, so I synced them to my Lightroom mobile app, and I can have that right on this iPad. So it makes it super easy for editing on the go. And I really, really like this case that you can get from Apple II that is, like, the magnetic keyboard. So for, like, email purposes and everything, like, it still feels like a laptop. So it's really, really nice just for easy travel. It's so light. It makes my backpack a lot, <laughs> a lot <heavy>. lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he has like all the heavy stuff. Sometimes when we're traveling, like I'll pick up his bag. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> we need to take turns. <laughs> yeah. And then we figured while we're talking about bags, we would just mention that like most of these bags are for smaller trips, like the Walker family bags and this backpack. Yeah. But if we're traveling long distance for a long time, um, we take this, oh, uh, yeah, this big one, big roller bag. It's basically a bigger version of the hugger, but it has wheels and you know, the handle and whole, whole works. Yeah. So right up here, this unzips and then this thing comes out. Um, yeah, it has two wheels. So it's super nice. And then the thing that we love the most about these bags is these, um, little latches on the front. So all of the bags have hooks built into them. So when you're like wheeling this to the airport, you can literally take the yeah. backpack off your back, so that's usually really heavy on Bryce's So back. I can take these and little hooks on it. here and latch it to that like webbing I'll on the I'll put it in front of me and you can demonstrate. It's kind of like a chaotic mess with all of our bags unzipped and stuff, but this just like hooks on like that and rolls away, sort of like that vibe. Super, super convenient. <laughs> but yeah, so that's nice if my backpack is feeling extra heavy with all the camera gear. But other than that, we like to just keep it pretty light and simple with all of our stuff. Mm -hmm. We've learned over the years that's the way we prefer. Yeah, and I'm just always so scared about checking bags and them getting lost. Like, it's never personally happened to us. Yeah. But, I don't know, we just kind of avoid checking bags when we can. We have to check this one. Um when we do have to pack more, but yeah, usually our go-to is just each having a backpack and then with our clothes, we each pack up one of the Walker Family Good duffel bags. 
Um, yeah, it's really great. And Bryce even figured out a way of doing little Velcro straps, so we always put our skateboards underneath here, which also makes it nice when you're going through the airport, you can just like wheel it along. So yeah. That's pretty much it for our <laughs> camera gear 2020 and some of the bags we used. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, it was a long time coming. We needed to do an updated camera gear video for sure. Yeah, so I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, I can't cover the lens because Lou's <laughs> on my lap. Here, Lou, you're gonna do the you're gonna do the outro. <laughs> okay. Bye guys!